Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. First video in 2024. Let's see what we're gonna talk about in this video. Oops, here we have a Galaxy S3, the big boy. So the last video we talked about the little boy, the bitty boy. This time we're gonna talk about the big boy. Um, about 2022, I show you guys that this phone got Android 13. Well, guess what? 2024, this phone got Android 14. Again, amazing. I have no idea about this phone. How long this phone is at, guys? 12 years old. This phone is 12 years old and it's still got Android 14. But first things first, uh, this phone needs a battery, which I just, which I just bought, so... And yeah, there we go. And here it is, guys. I'm going to show you guys on this other phone here. Lineage OS 21 by of course of course guys none other than html 6405 so big thank you all right big thank you to html for bringing android 14 all right to this galaxy s3 so there's gonna be some stuff that's work sometimes there's some stuff that's not not you can see here from the html youtube video here you can see here everything is working shworky we can try it out we can try it out try them out of course let's pause the video up here as you can see here uh the stuff that's not working is currently some audio stuff like in the mic is kind of sensitive it's some sort of gain some bluetooth audio and phone calls and stuff i got the rom i copy it to this s3 it's currently like i said it is running android 7.1.2 here oh my god are you kidding me <laughs> The S3 has the same problem like on my last video. Yep, the volume up button is now gone as well. Two S3 in a row. Advanced restart, thank you, thank you, thank you. Restart, recovery, okay. All right, here we are finally booted to team win with a broken volume up button. Okay, so let's now go ahead and wipe, advanced wipe, download cache, system, data, internal storage, swipe to wipe, like I said here, if you guys want to know how to do this uh, from stock 4.3, 4.1, and 4.0, I have my video up there on the iCard for you guys to follow along from the installation, all right? So, uh, micro SD, and scroll down, and here we are. Linux OS 21.0, built in January 6, 2024, by HTML for the i9300. Let's go ahead and flash this baby up. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is done. I just wiped the cache and Delphic and everything, so make sure it's fresh. Hit the reboot system now, and we're gonna see another world medical that is created by HTML by bringing Android 14 to a 12 year old Samsung Galaxy S3. And there we go, Lineage. And. And you wait for it again. 2012 phone with one gigabyte of RAM on Android 14, yo. Android 14. Well, e well, everybody today, you know, talking about the S24. Oh, there it is. And there it is. Lineage OS 21 is building up. Let's go on next. Oh, start, I mean. See the response. Three, four, or four seconds, like I said, yo. One gigabyte of RAM, yo. It's not like the brand new release S24 Ultra with. What is it? 12 gigabytes of RAM, yo. It's not that, yo. It's a technology from uh, what do you call it? 12 years ago. Hey, one thing I like though is what I see on the when I tap like this, the animations is off by default. So I like that because it will make the phone faster. Okay, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. I present to you. Wait for it. Boom, boom. Android 14. Look at that. All right, let's go to settings. All right, let's go to oh no 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 system. I forgot my bad. About phone, i ninety three hundred, Android version, Android fourteen, <laughs> Android fourteen. Look at that. Wait wait wait. There it is. Let's hold this. Oh, wait, wait, wait wait wait. Oh we hold that one bit. I think. Oh the the vibration doesn't show. Okay. All right. There we go. And there you go, that's the game. It works. Oh, oh we have to do that. I I I, I, I haven't really run Android 14 in a while. Yeah, I don't know what the, how the how do you how do you call the Easter egg. There you go, the Easter egg. Alright, there it is. Android 14. I might put the back cover on this phone. 
There it is, on a Samsung Galaxy S3, guys. With the December patch, uh, by default, looks like the animations are off. So if I tap on something here, it just pops up like that. So it, it does make the phone actually feel much better. Yeah, I remember, let me just do this. It's a little bit laggy here. But if you guys watch my, my video of the Android 13 on the S3, you can see that it's kind of sluggish on the Alpha build, but this time, yo, it's a bit more responsive as you can, can see the Aurora store is pre-installed by HTML. Look at that, very, very nice. Huh? So let's uh, try the camera here. And it works. Let's take a picture of the Z Flip here. This fully fingerprinted Z Flip, the first gen. Oh, the flash is on. Go to video. Video, video. Okay, testing, testing, one, two, three of the Galaxy S3 in 2024 running android 14 which beats this teeny mini mini z flip do this and do this microphone is working it sounds like i said a little bit too too you know too dry ish it, yeah this this volume button used it's supposed to be working man all right opening up the browser here take a couple of seconds and there we go it opens up let's open up mr youtube here youtube dot com you can see here when i type it's actually running pretty well it actually runs pretty well like for light tasks yo this phone still running pretty well look at that s24 ultra why do we need s24 will you cut this galaxy s3 running for the same android as the s24 ultra right i'm just kidding of course <laughs> press the volume down where's the full screen there we go you can even watch youtube on android 4.3 with this phone Oh, on this original firmware, huh? Now you can watch YouTube and got Android 14. All right, so let's try one of the new features of Android 14, which is customizing your clock here, which I'm gonna show you guys here that it's actually running Android 14. Now let's look at the settings here. Let's scroll down to wallpapers and style. Takes a while, like I said, yo. Make sure to clear all these things on the RAM so you guys can have more free RAMage on your phone, all right? Because one gigabyte of RAM. So wallpapers and style here, takes a while to load, and there we go. Let's see here, can we change the clock, clock color and size? You can see here we can now change the colors of the clock, but we could change it to some other uh, other thingies, no? Yeah, um, usually, okay, you can go also here, change the uh, device shortcut here, so I can put a flashlight here on the left and camera on the right open it up you can see that we got a shortcut to our flashlight which we tap and hold we'll turn on the flashlight tap and hold again and we'll turn on the flashlight we tap and hold here it will open up the camera and there we go this build does not have the multiple cl clocks yet that's why it didn't show up but in android 14 you guys can have you guys can pick like multiple clocks so you guys can change the lock screen clocks look at that one 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 at a time yo even the world is blessing this phone you know like i said um this phone uh, actually performs really well if you guys want to use this phone or like a media player like i said just keep using aurora store and don't install too many heavy apps because it will not run that well with one gigabyte of ram and this old chipset don't please please do not install google play services guys google play this google play that your phone will become slow all right and become not so good so Thank you guys for watching this video. Big, big, big thanks to HTML for creating and make delivering the hard work. Android 14 on the Galaxy S3 9300, a 2012 phone that's still able to run latest apps, latest Android software, and take that Apple. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Amazing, amazing phone, huh? Peace!